Mr. McCoy here above the enameled plane in this fourth edition of Mr. McCoy's weekly log video version here to tell you all about the events from this past week beginning with math where we worked with powers of 10 for example 10 to the third power is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 which is equal to 1000 your child had the opportunity to participate in games of high number toss and multiplication target practice to gain mastery of the skill. In reading, we worked to determine two or more main ideas of a text. We headed into the mysteries of Cliff Palace, about those Native Americans who were cliff dwellers like the Anasazi, and also the Birch Bark House. We compared these two texts because they are structured similarly. In writing, your child had the opportunity to continue to get into the skin of the writer, telling his or her narrative from that perspective. We also stepped out of that skin to be more objective, asking, what can I do better in my writing? And uh, your child had the opportunity to get feedback from fellow writers to become an even better writer than he or she already is. In social studies, we visited the Native Americans of the Eastern Woodlands, the Great Plains, and the Southwest. With regard to the Eastern Woodlands, we talked about how they developed a variety of cultures based on hunting and farming. The Great Plains, how they depended on the buffalo, and the Southwest, how a need for water influenced how their culture developed. In this edition of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Log is information about how to get your child even more excited about history. Be sure to keep watching or read the S'more newsletter all about how your child can become a true historian. And uh, science is also important as well. And In science, we continued our study of scientific inquiry. Your child had the opportunity to construct a balloon rocket using just a balloon and inspiration to make that rocket fly. Next week, we will move into matter and molecules and begin to lay the groundwork for Project Lead the Way involving the creation of a robot. Keep watching. There's more information about this magnificent week in this fourth edition of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Law. For some reason, some children and adults think history is boring. Well, there's a danger in that because history is what came before us, and right now we are making history. And your child was born into history without being a part of what has happened so far uh, and what will happen after your child no longer exists. It's important for your child to understand where he or she exists in the scheme of things, just like it's important for us to realize that as well. In this week's edition of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Log are tips for helping to spark your child's interest in and knowledge of American history. For example, you can ask your child some questions. Uh, you can share your family history with your child, particularly your own memories. In other words, get your child immersed in history. There are more details in that article, but avoid the danger of uh, saying things like, I always hated history when I was in school. If your child comes home saying that he or she does not like social studies, say Mr. McCoy is going to change your attitude about that because history is what we are living. Do you ever get the feeling that when you're talking your child isn't really listening? Well pay attention to this next section because I'm going to talk about ways to help your child become an even better listener. We worked on this in class with lively listening activities. Uh, first and foremost if you want your child to become a better listener read out loud to him or her. You might think, oh, in fifth grade, it's not really important to read aloud to my child anymore. Actually, it's just as important in fifth grade as it is at any age level in elementary school. So keep reading aloud. Also, take the opportunity to ask your child questions about what it is that you've been reading. Also, limit the amount of time your child spends watching television sitting in front of the computer, playing computer games, seem like your child is getting worse at listening, 
but this can be improved. Teach your child that even if an adult is saying something that he finds is boring, he still needs to look at the person and show respect. Just like it's important to make sure that your child loves history, social studies, it's also important to impart that same positive attitude about math. Some kids just have a mental block as far as math is concerned. Please let your child know that everyone can learn math and that it's an important subject to learn. Encourage your child to keep trying, be persistent. Year after year, I have kids who come in with a negative attitude about math, but they keep working at it. And as the year progresses, they suddenly realize, oh, I can do math and it's a fun subject to do. Praise your child when he or she makes an effort. Celebrate successes because math really truly can be a fun thing and it's a very logical thing as well. Make math a part of your child's daily uh, activities and point out how your child is using math on a regular basis. Also, if you're like, for example, figuring the area of a bathroom because you're putting in new tile, involve your child in counting the length and the width to figure out what the square footage is in the bathroom. Play games and do puzzles that involve math. Do problems with your child just for the fun of it. Show your child how to use a ruler correctly, even down to a sixteenth of an inch. A calculator and all of the functions on a calculator and when your child is trying to solve a problem ask what he or she is thinking don't do all of the thinking for your child uh, if your child seems puzzled you can do what I do at school I give them words of encouragement but I will not solve the problem for him or her spelling test on Friday September 4th also the pretest for the next unit as always, there are links in this uh, small newsletter that you received, a link to a general list of spelling words, even, even though your child was supposed to bring home his or her leveled list. Also, optional homework to help master the skill for this week's spelling unit. This has been a magnificent week. Next week, we will focus on all things great and small. It, too, will be magnificent.